What's going on guys? Back at it again with a brand new series here on the channel. This one of course is on the DLC for the Outer Worlds called Peril on Gorgon. I wanted to do this because I haven't played the uh, the DLC yet or anything like that and there is a new one coming out on March 17th I believe that I do want to get to as soon as it comes out so of course before I get to that one I have to do to do this DLC so we're gonna be going through this one and then immediately after or soon soon as it uh, comes out we will be doing that DLC as well so I'm very excited to get back into this game guys I absolutely love this game back when it came out i originally played it on the on the pc but now we're playing it on the playstation so this is a completely different character uh this one uh is a melee science uh player uh, uh, uh characters you can see here and of course if you see the idle camera he's basically still wearing his hibernation suit why because it gives me tech and tech uh under tech of course it has science and this weapon is highly affected by science and everything like that so we're gonna be playing as this it should be pretty interesting I do want to role play a little bit in this little let's play of course we're gonna be hitting every single dumb dialogue we can get and however that turns out at the end as far as story goes that's gonna happen so with that being said that's kind of a long intro as it is I want to get into this gameplay already so do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's jump right into this captain i'm receiving an urgent docking request from another vessel greetings uh -huh. from the halcyon parcel service delivery is guaranteed within standard margins of certainty i've got a special <laughs> certain delivery standards for alex hawthorne of the unreliable uh with your permission i'll see it transferred to your ship uh yeah of course what is it it's a parcel sir that doesn't help. Okay, forget it. I certainly shall. I have an exceedingly short memory. I'm sending a technician over to deliver your parcel. Stand by, Captain Hawthorne. Sounds like a plan. An HPS certified distribution technician has deposited the parcel into your cargo hold in accordance with hazardous waste disposal procedures. Um... Okay, sounds fine, I suppose. <laughs> On behalf of HPS, I'd like to remind you that HPS is not responsible for any damage, defacement, or unseemliness to your parcel. Thank you for your patience, and please remember HPS for all of your future parcel-related needs. Uh, sure thing. All right, so what do we have here? Mysterious package. Uh, HPS Halcyon Parcel Service. Hey, that sounds familiar. It's not gonna blow up, is it? Oh, okay. Oh my god, is it? Oh my god, it's a <laughs> It's a hand. We have to use it? So, use... I guess so, let's use the mysterious hand package. Hawthorne, if you're getting this, something's happened to me. Got mixed up in some shady business on Gorgon. Should've known better. But I landed on something big. And now this job's an itch I can't stop scratching. You might want to get that checked. There's a whole research compound left to the Sprats. I think I'm close to figuring out why. But something dangerous is closer to me. Got the job through one mini Ambrose. Top runger who just came into some money was offering a hefty bit card for qualified help. Trust me, her money's good. Talk to Minnie. Take the job. If I ain't gonna live to see the payday, might as well be you. Consider us even, old pal. Well, that fellow certainly seemed trustworthy. I've gotten jobs from some unusual sources, but this is a first. Congratulations, Captain. <laughs> I don't mean to sound prim, Captain, but there's gotta be a better way to ask someone to do you a favor. Yeah? I just wanna say, we gotta take this job. <laughs> this is the closest I ever been to starring in a serial drama. Only thing we're missing is a couple cameras and a soundtrack. At least this won't be boring. Okay, so, uh, money and in intrigue. I'm sold. Ada, what the hell's going on? Lucky Montoya owed Captain Hawthorne a considerable debt. I believe this is what humans refer to as payback. Captain, Damn. the message contains landing coordinates for a small asteroid in the Charybdis Cluster. It was recently registered to a Wilhelmina Ambrose. 
Ah, Minnie. Right? Minnie is close... Uh, is short for Wilhelmina, right? I mean, I could be mistaken, but... Uh, it was recently re registered to Wilhelmina Ambrose. So... Okay. That's in that's very interesting. Who, who, who is this guy, Ada? He was an old friend of Alex Hawthorne's. Ah, that explains Lucky it. Lucky Montoya had a statistically significant tendency to encounter situations of extreme danger. He liked to show off his battle scars. I get the feeling he won't be flashing this one around. He was also the fourth best paid freelancer in the system. The fourth best? That's... To be fair, that's still pretty interesting. Or pretty uh, impressive. Uh, anything in the top... I don't know, 100 is probably good. <laughs> and he's the fourth best? I think that was supposed to be low-key an insult. But that's still pretty impressive. But it, uh, impressive. Uh, okay, that was weird. The game... My recording software kind of glitched a little, so apologize for that. Uh, let me see here. Uh, only the fourth, you say? There are several hundred freelancers operating in Halcyon. Considering the numbers... Mr. Montoya ranked among the top percentile. Yeah, this has less I agree. correlation with his measured aptitudes, which rank at or below average, than with a pattern of fortunate circumstances. You mean luck? <laughs> no, dumb. That sounds good to me. That's not... <laughs> Captain, just when I think I've heard the depths of <laughs> insights you're capable of, you find a way to surprise me. I do not advise deriving probabilities from coincidence, but I am programmed to offer you encouragement. I have transferred the coordinates for Ambrose Manor to your navigation terminal. We can travel there when you are ready. We gotta talk about this. Okay, well, what do we need to talk about? Felix, get over here! Fe Felix, stop moving! You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. Captain Crunch. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like, the ship. Oh. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. So this is... This is in reference to the end of the game. We are at the end of the main storyline of the game. We're at the point, basically, where the game's over in my main playthrough, or whatever. But we're just gonna go along with this anyways. Not bad, huh? I have my moments. I've been thinking about what I'd call our adventure serial. Thrilling tales of the unreliable. Or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of a system. Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Uh. <laughs> so my, if my character's name is Duh. Got a nice ring to it. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. This is going to be great. I can't wait. Okay. Well, let's go. I should have said the die horribly thing. So now we have to get out of here. So we're going to, uh, yeah, Wilhelmina, Ambrose. Unrevi uh, unreliable. Oh, we got a new... We got a new system to explore. A remote asteroid, home to the home to marauders, smugglers, and abandoned uh, spacer's choice facility. This should be pretty interesting. I didn't like Scylla because it was very small, very isolated, and not very much going on there. To be honest, I hope Gorgon isn't more of that because it does look like an asteroid. Well, it is an asteroid, but you know what I mean. All right, let's see Ambrose Manor. Good to know. All right, this is gonna be sick. Uh, normally, okay. So I like to take Vicar. I, I want to see something real quick. Let's uh. Let's leave Parvati here. We'll take just Victor, Victor, uh, Victor Mask, Max for a second. I want to see if I get more damage because I haven't specialized uh, as a companion to help me get more damage out of my. Welcome to Ambrose Manor. Uh huh. We were not expecting company. Please follow. Do not stray from the path. 
Well, do not stray no from the. This control. is not gonna go well, but buddy. We'll see what we can do. This is. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen a more effective argument against blindly following a preordained plan. <laughs> that was hilarious. All right, so I wanted to see, uh, Vicar Max. So right now, this the okay 540. Except I need to go into the settings. I don't know why it always undoes this, but I like this setup to where it shows me how much my thing does. Okay, so 1,000, what is it? 1,673? Vicar, talk to me. If I still believed in the- That's great. Uh, I need you. Man. I hate All right, I don't care. All right, let's just send them back this way. 1,673 versus how much? How much does my hammer do without him? Would it be... Okay, so I get a hell of a lot more damage without him. So I do have it set up perk-wise to be a solo player. But I liked having him along just because of his special quirks and stuff. Let me just double check. Yeah, okay, yeah. I do way more damage this way. <laughs> Are you alright there, buddy? Do you, do you need a hand? <laughs> What's his name? Drinks the butler? Is his name is? So there's a castle right there. I think that's where we have to go, but I want to check this building out really quick. I just saw it when I turned around to look at the robot. All right, let's check it out real quick. We got a bunch of stuff in here. Weapon parts, absolutely. Heavy weapon ammo. I don't need any of that. I like to sell my ammo. Although this character is pretty dumb and he can't even sell anything properly. What is this? Pick up kitchen key card? Don't mind if I do. Uh, daily routine, sweep the tranquility, uh, garden for Miss Olivia, oil the fish for Mr. Harvey, oil the fish, is that really a thing? I don't know, uh, and repeat, when they hired me on the, on the grounds, as the groundskeeper, I assumed there'd be grounds to keep, I'm not even allowed inside the manor, everyone told me the Ambrose family keeps to themselves, but there's a bunch of hermits, save for the little ones, guess I ought to find a hobby. Mr. Harvey dropped his key card on the pond. I'll hold, on, I'll hold on to it in case he comes looking, but I won't go near the house. Wouldn't want to get between Mr. Uh, Mr. or Miss Olivia and her research. Good to know. The groundskeeper seems to be a little angry. Bit cartridges. I don't need any of that other stuff. How much money do I have? Almost nothing. Yeah, 192. I remember this character. This was the second to last character. Actually, this was the last character that I did. The second to last character that I did was actually the uh, Supernova playthrough, which was super fun to be honest. What in the world? This is the... I mean, I guess that makes sense how he oils it now. I thought he was talking about real fish. <laughs> <laughs> okay then if they say so is there anything over here um yes i'll be taking all of that that's good stuff to sell at least it'll give me some some money oh there's a big box over there let's go ahead and grab it real quick before we actually make our way inside i can't lockpick this though can i <laughs> no that's the only thing that sucks about having a dumb... Like, you get some very funny dialogue, but... It's not very practical in terms of... Ooh, there's another box over here. Another, uh... In terms of, like, lock picking or hacking and stuff like that. It sucks. Cushion souls. This Is this new? I don't know. Champions. Toss ball. Uh, locker. I'll take it. I'll be able to sell it. Or something. It doesn't appear to be unique. No, it's not unique. So, what's my second weapon? This weapon, I have it at level 30. So, this thing is pretty strong. This thing is only at level 17. So, 
I'm gonna have to do something about that one. Ambrose Manor discovered. Let's look around real quick just in case there's anything around. Nah, I don't think there's anything. All right, let's go inside. Screw it. Miss Ambrose. Miss Wilhelmina. Winnie. The Pooh. Where are you? They're not going to attack me, are they? No, no, he's just the janitor. This is... This is beautiful. Look, there's a Spacer's Choice Man up there. The Moon Man. I love that character, by the way. Uh, the the dude on the Groundbreaker. I forgot what his name is. But he was hilarious. So monotone and bland. and <laughs> He makes me laugh. He's hilarious. What is this? Use terminal. Uh, recent activity. Uh, these are just events going on, I suppose. Party list. Saltina fillets. Stock is spoiled. Please replenish. Stock is spoiled. So the woolly cow. Everything. Everything's spoiled. With the exception of the cans, of course. But they only have 13 uh, cans of Borson beans and 9 bottles remaining of the mock apple. Good to know. Oh, I can get... Oh, I found... Yeah, I found the key. That's the key we found in the shed outside. That's awesome. Otherwise, I would have had to lockpick it and... There's... There's like nothing here. The uh, glacier water. Those bottles, by the way, are pretty cool. They did a good job on them. I don't need any of the food or nothing. I mean, we should loot it anyways so that I could sell it if I find a vendor somewhere. I'll be taking those because let's be real, a hundred, you know, bits is nothing, like nothing at all. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to go back outside this uh, of this room and go upstairs now. These guys are funny. Okay. What do we have here? I want to explore as much as humanly possible. Before... We're not even on Gorgon yet, are we? Or are we on Gorgon? I don't know. I really don't know. Give me the bits. Oh, if I didn't say this before, uh... I think I might have said it, but I'm gonna say it again anyways, just in case I didn't. Uh, before we played this game on PC, I'm playing it on Xbox now. Just so you guys know. I think I'm pretty sure I said it, but uh, I'm pretty sure those two doors go to Wilhelmina. So I'm going to go this way and check out this room. Examine. My dearest, oh, dearest mother and father, I've placed the halls of this uh, gilded cage uh, long enough. Since you won't permit me to help my family business, I'm leaving to start a business of my own. I am too young for such ambitions. Or am I too young for such ambitions? Perhaps. But that is the risk you take when you fashion a daughter in your image. Byzantium will welcome me with open arms. Won't that be a new sensation? If I ever return, it'll be to calm my rightful spot or claim my rightful spot at the head of this family. Minnie. Oh. So it sounds like she's got a beef with her mom. I wonder if we're gonna I wonder if that's the whole mantra of this DLC I'm not I'm not sure it's very childlike isn't it so is she is she a little girl okay so I need to find the master bedroom key I don't see any there's probably Wilhelmina probably has it though to be honest I see you just put the hammer away. I don't need the hammer right now. Aha! She has been found. And she's not a little girl. Well, she hears me. Let's look around before we talk to her, though. Gyro sight. I don't see anything at all. And this character can't pickpocket either, can, can he? No. Okay, well, that's it for that. Talk to me. So who the devil are you? Uh, my name is Duh. 
You don't say. Well, make yourself at home, Captain. I'm sure we have much to discuss. Perhaps. Do you see that glowing chunk of space rock? That's Gorgon. Got my you. My birthright, my burden, and the bane of my existence. I hate to drink alone, and this is my third. So join me in raising a glass to Gorgon. Uh... Give solemn toast to Gorgon. To Gorgon. May cosmic winds shepherd her to the nearest star. Thank you, thank you. I'm Wilhelmina Ambrose. But you can keep it short and call me Minnie. Now, what brings you to my house, handsome? I take it you didn't come all this way for the beverages, the starry skies, or the pleasant company. Or maybe I did. Uh, I'm here about a severed arm. <laughs> a severed arm? How positively ghoulish. You know this is a private residence, not a curio shop. Uh... Does the name Lucky Montoya? Oh, yeah. So the arm came with a portable phonograph that mentioned you, as a matter of fact, by name. Really? Huh. <clears throat> now this severed limb, did it have dark hair? Rugged knuckles? Chewed fingernails? A gunslinger's calluses? <laughs> Show you, uh, show her the arm. It was like this one, but less attached. <laughs> yes, I can well imagine. I can only think of one man daring enough to jettison his extremities on my behalf. Lucky Montoya is my personal freelancer. Fascinating man, very brooding and theatrical, always staring into space and twirling a bullet over his knuckles. But if something happened to him, oh dear. I suppose that makes him my former freelancer now. Yeah, that'll that'll be it, I suppose. He got fired just because he lost an arm? <laughs> Among other parts, I assume. What a time for his luck to run out. We were in the middle of something grand, and I really can't afford another setback. Uh... So, his recorded mentioned a high-stakes job. Care to elaborate a little bit? Funny that you should bring that up. How would you like to be my new freelancer? There's been a recent vacancy, and I think you're well suited to the job. I'm looking for someone rough around the edges. A gorgeous, dashing scoundrel type. Incidentally, someone good with their hands. <laughs> I like where this is going. <laughs> uh, if I see anyone like that, I'll let you know. <laughs> Right, let's go with this. You're not grasping this, are you? You're the one I'm after. Allow me to lay out the facts, <clears throat> and you can decide for yourself if you want to be my chief investigator. My mother, Dr. Olivia Ambrose, worked for Spacer's Choice at the Gorgon Research Facility. She was brilliant, the top scientist in her field, until tragedy struck. Um... Yeah, uh-huh, go on. One day, Spacer's Choice shut down all research and evacuated Gorgon. Everyone had to scramble or risk getting left behind. It was chaos. Employees fled for their lives. Mother... never made it home. I'm told she wasn't the only casualty that fateful day. Mother's name has since been dragged through the mud. Spacer's choice blames her for the collapse of Project Gorgon, and I just know they're lying. Mm. Sounds like she was the corporation's patsy. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Mother would not have allowed Project Gorgon to fail. Something happened on that asteroid, and my family took the fall for it. So... What did you send, uh, Lucky to find? The truth. Mother is gone, Gorgon is silent, and I deserve answers. That's interesting. So, 
I guess the beef between her and her mom aren't as big as I thought initially. Well, to be fair, I only had that one recording to go off of, so... Yeah. Uh, answers to what end? That will depend on what we learn. The scope of this cover-up is enormous. Whatever Spacer's Choice is hiding could bring ruin down on their heads. Or it could just be another dead end. We won't know till we look, will we? Uh, say no. Actually, you know what? Tell me about the, your I mom. I admired Mother, but we weren't close. She disapproved of everything about me, really. I couldn't measure up to her example. She didn't make time for us. I remember thinking that she never wanted a child and never forgave me for being one. Naive and irresponsible as I was. Starting to shed some light on this. I get it. So it's, she doesn't hate her mom. She's just... I guess there's there there's a, like a, a bashing of heads. Like they're... They're probably, to be fair, they're probably too much alike. But you never know. Let me see. We'll probably figure out more about the relationship throughout this DLC. I, I'm not entirely sure. I don't even know what it's about, to be honest. I'm really figuring out right now. Uh... Maybe there's another side to that story. No doubt. I only wish Mother was here to tell it in her own words. Mother worked herself to the bone. She wanted to make the colony a better place. No matter who or what got sacrificed along the way. She never spared a thought for those of us who cherished her. Who suffered for her idea of progress. I like her eyebrows. I don't know why. <laughs> they look cool. Um, uh, ah, so I think this is probably what happened. So Gorgon itself pulled you apart? We weren't terribly close to begin with, I'm afraid. But that accursed asteroid certainly didn't improve our relations. Mother and Gorgon were made for each other. I had the misfortune to be stuck in the middle. So what do you think happened on Gorgon? I don't know. And Spacer's Choice won't say. They don't discuss anything that tarnishes their brand. Gorgon has a dark history. The project fell apart. Personnel were shuffled across the system. With Mother gone, now I'm all that's left. There has to be someone, right? That knows about Gorgon? About what happened there? There has to be. No doubt someone is out there who could talk. Someone involved in Mother's research. Someone paid for their discretion. Then again, why pay for silence when you can buy it for the low, low cost of a bullet? Very That's true. That's the Spacer's Choice way. Or a hammer. The asteroid may look like a glittering jewel, but I assure you the resemblance ends there. Gorgon is poisonous to the core. One might even say cursed. I need your help, Captain. Project Gorgon killed Mother and disgraced the Ambrose name, and no one has been held accountable. Spacer's Choice buried the past like a dirty secret. Something tells me she's not dead. I don't know why. I'm just getting the... I think that's going to be like the... If I had to guess, I think that's going to be the shocking surprise. Or at least the intended surprise. Uh... Are you interested in justice, revenge, or both? Neither. <clears throat> it's vindication I want. Whatever happened on Gorgon wasn't Mother's fault. I simply need the evidence to prove it. We're going to drag the truth, kicking and screaming into the light. Even if it means bringing ruin and humiliation to Spacer's choice. All the evidence I need should be in Mother's journal. You can find it in her office on Gorgon, in the heart of the old research facility. Okay, that's fair. So get the research, bring it back. That's literally all I have to do. Uh, if it helps, it, yeah. If it helps you get some closure, I'll help you find the the journal. You do all that for me? I was hoping you'd take the job, but I didn't expect you to care. I'm stupid. <laughs> uh, you should have to suffer. 
Uh, you shouldn't have to suffer for the actions of Spacer's choice. I believe you're the first person to ever side with me against the corporation. It's a refreshing change. When you reach Gorgon, pack a weapon you trust. A corporate lockdown hasn't stopped the wilderness from squirming in through the cracks. Yep, I like my hammer. But thank you. What should I expect to face in Gorgon? I've never understood why, but Gorgon is teeming with marauders. They almost seem drawn to sorrow and misfortune. Then there's the test subjects. Those who survived, anyway. Ravenous creatures left behind like so much salvage. So, let's change the subject a little bit. I really, really want to hear about this lucky Montoya person. Uh, so, as, as far as he, he goes, what did you tell him about the job specifically? I told him everything I've told you. Just the facts. Maybe a couple of harmless embellishments. Why? Just trying to get the whole picture. Uh, no reason. Uh, just want to know where to get started. There's a little saloon near Gorgon's landing pad. The Sprat Shack. Lucky was renting a room. So if you want to follow his trail, that would be the place to start. Just so we understand each other, money is no object. I'm willing to squander the family fortune if you get me what I want. Between your payment and any salvage you happen across, you'll walk away from this rich enough to buy a mansion of your own. How does that sound? Sounds pretty good, actually. What's the cash? There's always a, a catch, right? The cash? <clears throat> no one's ever done this before, and the only person who tried is a corpse. Believe me, that's enough. Here's your nav key, Captain. Safe travels. <laughs> Bite the nav key? Yup, it's real! <laughs> How can you tell? On second thought, don't answer. <laughs> A word of advice before you go, Captain. Trust no one. Mother's office is in the heart of the Gorgon facility. You're free to salvage anything that isn't nailed down. I only want what's mine. Good to know. I'm curious. I'm very curious. Oh my gosh, she's here. Oh. I really. Oh, she has a legendary on her. Or, or, or a unique. Burnout. Hold on. Whoops, wrong button. Special effects stagger. It's a energy weapon. Oh, that's pretty cool. But we won't be doing that. That was just out of curiosity. So let's go back into this the normal way. <laughs> and get out of here. That That's good to know, though. Hopefully, you know, one of my other characters, whenever I get to uh, play it through my other characters... I'd probably pickpocket it or see if I can get it as a quest reward or something. So we're off to Gorgon. Where's the master bedroom key though? It's it's probably in her inventory. I probably should have checked her inventory a little bit more in detail. Alright, let's go back to the ship and get on out of here. Where's the button? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I feel bad for Drinks the butler. <laughs> that was hilarious. Oh, this should definitely be interesting, though. We are finally taking our first steps into Gorgon here shortly. You're adjusting before you talk. Parvati's learning how to shoot, apparently. I love Parvati, man. Okay, so let's head on to Gorgon. Thank you, Ada. I appreciate it. Oh, here it goes.